headbutt. <laughs> Not used to bouncing on the And that felt pretty trash. Yeah, he tried. All right, what's up guys? It's your boy, Dank, back again. Can you see my face? Okay. Welcome to another video. And today, I want to talk about how I have managed to keep a visible appearance of my abs without even working them over the past several months because I have not started to train abs again until like three or four days ago and uh i just got some secrets i want to show you so that way you don't even have to do ab exercises but you can still maintain a visible six pack year round guaranteed so uh hope you enjoyed the video and stay tuned all right guys so i'm just kind of uh, recording these clips in between sets me and Jake are practicing some skill training for the plant right now but uh alright so main to maintain abs first of all you have to get abs and a common myth is like oh just do a bunch of sit-ups and crunches and ab exercises and you want to have abs for sure like definitely no problem guaranteed man but I'm here to tell you that's a lie. Yeah, oh shoot, look at that. Look at that spider. What the heck? <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, anyway. So, the secret to getting abs is to actually get to a lean enough body fat percentage so that way you can see your abs, right? But, you also want to train your abs so that way whenever you get down to that low body fat percentage you're popping, you know what I'm saying? So first of all, work on that. Uh, fix your diet. If you need to implement cardio and get lean enough, I would say 12, 13-14% body fat, you'll be a... 13-14% body fat, you'll be able to start to see the outline of your abs. You may be able to even have a four pack and uh... Uh, do, don't do just sit-ups and crunches. 80% diet, 20% exercise. Yeah, screw that. I don't know if you heard that or not, but anyway, uh, don't do just sit-ups and crunches. I'm going to make a, a video on like the top best ab exercise and probably like a killer ab routine to get you shredded, you feel me? You feel me, dog? But anyway, yeah, so that'll be coming up in the next video, but uh, that's the first step, getting lean enough to where you can show your abs, all right? Don't do this, kids. There, there's more to life than you think. It's how to train your neck. <laughs> so uh, once you're lean enough and body fat percentage, this is where you can actually start to maintain your abs without even doing any ab exercises, all right? So here's the secret, kids. You wanna do big, compound movements that train your abs indirectly without you even realizing it okay so in the next few clips I'm going to show you some of the best indirect ab exercises that you may already be doing you not even know okay so yeah stay tuned all right guys so the first exercise that's on the list is a calisthenics exercise and it's called the front lever um, however, many people don't have the strength to do the front lever quite yet, but the best alternative is either front lever skill training or just front lever raises, which is also considered skill training, but it's more of a uh, dynamic exercise instead of a static, while the front lever you just hold it there. But the reason why this is so great for your core is because your core is being used to stabilize your whole body to keep it in one straight line as it's going up right so like to keep your legs from like going everywhere and like your core has to like stay tight and it really works your abs very well 
So uh, just uh, either if you're strong enough, do the front lever holes, those work great. If not, use the bands, those are also a great alternative. But if not, just do the front lever raises and I promise this corner worker has a very good amount. All right. All right guys, so the next exercise, as you guess, is min lifts, AKA deadlifts. Now the reason why this is such a great exercise for your core is because whenever you're coming up, you're building up intra-abdominal pressure right here, all right? Especially when you wear a belt like he is. So you're, just, you're flexing your core the whole time, so it's really going to indirectly hit your abs very hard. So let's, let's see him get a set in. Never mind, he finished his set. I'm going to get my set in. And I got to turn up the min jams because this is lightweight. He doesn't like music because he's a woman. Well, let's go. Let's get pumped. No music. Gosh, at least let me play monster. Let's go. Yep. Yep. Your back looks like it's about to break, boy. All around me are familiar faces, or not places. We just got done finishing deadlifts. So uh, we both hit new maxes, by the way. It's 4:30. Be fair like that. But uh, anyway, <clears throat> moving on to the next exercises. Uh, 
These are calisthenics based exercises, uh, similar to front lever, they're also pulling motions. So uh, one of the really best exercises for your core that really like hits them are pull-ups. And you'll know this whenever you first start doing pull-ups, like if you don't incorporate them into your training already. But whenever you do pull-ups, you keep your abs tight. So that way you pull in one straight line. Don't do that right there, but keep it nice and tight. Just keep it straight going all the way up, all the way down. One thing that really helps is weight pull-ups because then you're even flexing more to get every inch of leverage you can and get over the bar, your chin over the bar anyway. And then also, doing muscle-ups are very strenuous on your core as, core as well. Your core's flexing the whole time to curve you around the bar. By the way, if you haven't seen the uh, muscle-up tutorial, check it out. Uh, I'll probably put the link in the uh, description, but yeah. Moving on. All right guys, so this is the uh, final exercise. And what it is is squats, and preferably goblet squats. Let me tell you why. So, I like to take a dumbbell, split up here, and whenever you're coming down, like the weight's pulling down, right here. So, you got to have to be touching your board the whole time. And you get yourself up right. And when you go really heavy, like you get the hundreds out, and you rip those out, you're really good in your core. You can also do uh, squats with the barbell on your back. You do it on your uh, back right here. That will really work for And also, pistol squats. So, come down. Those will really work your abs as well, but goblet squats, bro. Make sure you're doing your goblet squats. All right, guys, so I'm going to do a quick ab check real quick. I don't know. They're still kind of there, but uh, yeah, that's how I managed to uh, keep my abs just staying at a lean enough body fat percentage. Even on this bulk, man, I'm still keeping the abs, still keeping the shreds. But yeah, the, the low body fat percentage and just do those exercises I taught you and uh, you'll keep your abs. It's easy to maintain. Next video I'll show you is a killer ab routine to help get you shredded. So stay tuned, uh, subscribe, like, and uh, comment, thank, down below if you like the video, and uh, see you in the next one. <laughs>